So now part one of the install is complete. We got oil return, oil feed, coolant feed, coolant return feed, and all that mounted up. The turbo is mounted to the elbow pipe. The elbow pipe is mounted to the exhaust, and the turbo is also mounted to the exhaust manifold. Now begins the part two of this install, and I got everything of the pressure pipes in the boot lid of the Skyline. So now let's get that on here, and hopefully I remember where everything was. Okay, here we have everything. We have my HKS air filter. We have the mass airflow sensor. We have some piping right here and some tubing, some hoses. The pipe right there. If I remember that these two are really hard to mount on on here when it's on the car because this is so stiff. The part right here is so it sits so tight that it's really hard to get those on there while on the car, so I'm gonna to try to mount them now and mount this as a whole piece instead. Don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm gonna try. Hopefully we'll get all of this in the car and then we can... Well, we fixed it early. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. There we go. Okay, don't know if this is a good idea, but I hope it is. Lovely! That went by real smooth! Wow. Sweet! Oh nice! We like that! Now that we need to tighten that with a thong and tighten it on the turbo as well. Okay, oh. now we simply have to tighten it on the turbo. I don't know if you can see, but down there, tighten like this one on the turbo intake. So it will be tight, then we will tighten that one right there, and then this will go to the Blow, original blow of valve. I am not blocked off the blow of valve anymore. It, uh, yeah, you don't need to talk more about that, but it's not blocked off anymore. Okay, now we're going to uh, mount up this thing that's going on top of the turbo, right there, as you see. So I just removed the paper we had in there. For safety reasons, we had paper. Uh, and now we are going to gently put that We have tightened the, that one right there. That's pretty good. I've connected this. This is the one that I'm, I'm, that adjusts the boost pressure. So I'm running 0 0.9 bar boost right now. I'm going to leave it at that with the new turbo and then see if the car runs fine. I will just run that. If I get new injectors and stuff like that, we will turn the boost up, I think. But if it runs okay on 0 0.9 bar boost, I will just run that. If not, I will have to lower the boost pressure a little bit. But now it's time to continue and get these pipes on right here from the intercooler and connect those so the system is complete. So, 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 so. Okay, now it's time to mount the blow off valve. Okay, now it's time to mount the <laughs> Okie doke, we now have this on, we have the blow off valve on, we have this on, we have this on, and a few vacuum hoses under here, so we're getting somewhere. Now it's just these two right there, it needs to line up with that and that. And this is for the air filter? Yeah, and for the air filter right there. Yeah. So yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're absolutely getting somewhere. I have high hopes that we will be able to start the car. In not too long, we'll just have to remember to fill the engine oil because I drained that yesterday. So we um, need to remember to fill the oil. But we're getting somewhere. Really, really good. Oh yeah! Celebration day! Yay! Luna. Oh, pass on that. Okay. We are 
actually almost done. It's just a tiny bit more. But now I have all of the pressure pipes. As you see right here, we have the air, fil air filter right here. We have the pressure pipe right there to the intercooler. We have the intercooler piping underneath right there. And everything should be exactly the way it was earlier. Um, what is this? What is that? Hmm, I don't know what that is. Is it? What's that? Damn, is that some kind of ground for something? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to look at some pictures, but anyways. Um, yeah, and I think uh, we are not far from a startup now. The car it has been charging because it's been standing for a month. As you see right here, here we have the Greddy oil filter. But now I am going to simply just twist that out of there. Uh, the oil is drained already, and we are going to now take on. Going to take this out. The oil filter right here, the gray one. And now we're going to install this one, the HKS oil filter. Oh yeah, I mean this is just to see this oil filter. It's such a nostalgic. It's so cool to see like a genuine JDM cool part that I'm going to install on my Skyline. I really like that. So now let's get that oil, old oil filter out and get this one in there. Now let's open this HKS filter. Woo! Oh yeah, brand new HKS filter. I like that a lot. Oh nice! Are you kidding me? Woo! Look at that! There's a sticker! Oh, damn. Mmm! Yeah, I'm gonna put that on here. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna put it on the car. Remember to, of course, uh, break off the plastic. This is all ready to go. Just tighten it by hand. And if you're a strong, muscular guy like me, you can just loosen it with your hand. So that is exactly what we're going to do right now. You can simply just reach down like this. It's a little bit tight, but... Okay, here we have the filter. Now we can install the new one. HKS filter going in. And then you can just tighten it by hand. That is okay because it will create its own like vacuum or something like that. So it will be tight enough. So I'm just tightening now by hand as tight as I can, of course. Ah, there we go. That two minutes, that was it. And we have now swapped out the oil filter. This is the one that was in the car, a Greddy oil filter. I will not turn it upside down because then it will pour oil. But now we have HKS glorious parts in my Skyline. We do like that a lot. Okay, so as I said, now there is simply just oil to fill up and coolant to fill up and that should be it. And then everything else is good. I have chosen to not take on the heat shield right here. It is a little heat shielding for the, the O2 sensor right there. So I think that's good. I just want to see the turbo, see if anything's leaking and stuff like that. So really excited right now to see if it's leaking or if it's all good and it's not leaking exhaust, oil, coolant. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can go wrong right now. But I will actually leave you guys hanging and end the video right here and I will then start a new video that I will fill up with oil, coolant, start the car and take the car out for its first drive because the weather is just simply beautiful today. So really excited about that. But I'm sorry that I'm being a little bit right now, but yeah, I can't give you all that you want at the same time. It's simply too much. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it a little bit myself because um, yeah, a lot of times it was not that easy to do everything that I wanted. But now it's all in, so I'm really happy again. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, subscribe, like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video with hopefully the first drive and a startup. See you later.